what are the latest machine learning innovations? And what can you do with these innovations? I have a domain expert over here, Steve Lawson Turner. You are an AWS expert in the domain of architecture. That's right. And it's called a senior manager, solution architect, I, I believe. And we're here today at the AWS Summit in London. Finally, we are meeting physically again. And you have a lot of experience with machine learning. Can you share what kind of new type of machine learning we have today announced? Yeah, firstly, thank you for having me here. I'm really excited to be able to speak to you for the first time. So I've been working with machine learning for quite a little while now in my career. I started out by doing a, a PhD covering that area before eventually ending up in AWS as a solution architect. And when we're looking at the subject of machine learning, we've got uh, hundreds of thousands of customers using machine learning on AWS today. And one of the things that we're probably most excited about today is putting that machine learning into the hands of developers. So not just a data scientist, you don't necessarily need a PhD anymore to actually use some of these latest innovations. And I was looking down all the time because there's a car driving here with the help of reinforcement learning. How does it work and how does machine learning make it possible that this car is driving autonomously? Yeah, so one of the great things about machine learning is, especially using a cloud like AWS, is you can process vast amounts of data at a very rapid clip. And so in this case, with things like reinforcement learning and computer vision, you're dealing with hundreds of data points every second. If you look at something like Formula One, for example, every car has sensors on it delivering data every single second, if not a milliseconds. And you need a huge amount of power to actually process that. And that's where AWS comes in in terms of providing a lot of that processing. And F1 used Amazon SageMaker to allow them to actually derive insights both a real time and based on up to over 70 years of historical race data to give the fans a lot more information about what's actually happening in the race. So things like if Lewis Hamilton's about to overtake someone, do they predict that uh, there is going to be a particular pit stop at a certain time? And these all come together to make the, uh, the racing a lot more entertaining for the viewers as well. They just added a couple more analytics there as well in terms of the uh, machine learning derived insights, one of which was uh, this propensity to figure out when they're going to pit in as part of the race and then pre prevent, uh, present quite interesting data visualizations on that too. Yeah, and I'm a huge Formula One fan, so it's really exciting to get all this background data, makes the race much more exciting. And it is already more exciting because of this new let's say, a uh, car that they have introduced. Talk about all the different examples that you have here at AWS uh, Summit. What is the most exciting one you pops in, in your, into your mind? I think one of them is one of the ones we're standing right here in terms of the Deep Racer League. And one of the things which I didn't realize which has become really interesting is that uh, as part of the Deep Racer League, any student can actually sign up to it and get involved in learn machine learning without even needing to have an AWS account. So there's no need to actually sign up, give a credit card over anything. You can just get started in learning machine learning already. And there's even a, another service called Amazon uh, SageMaker um, Canvas. And what that allows you to do is actually try machine learning out without actually knowing any code. So you can, uh, if you take someone like the BMW Group as an example, they actually use this to help some of their uh, business analysts to create machine learning models without actually doing any programming or having any underlying data science knowledge. And they then can be handed off to some of the data scientists within their team for validation and then put into production as well. And how can they sign up? Uh, you just go to the website. It's uh, deepracerleague.com. Perfect. Steve, thanks a lot. Some great innovations and just sign up for this Deep Racer experience. Steve, thanks a lot. Thank you for watching here from AWS Summit in London. Thank you. Thank you.